The series to be discussed from this point forward are the contents of the book, one of Euclid's elements. Euclidean geometry consists of 23 definitions that define plane figures such as points, lines, and triangles, and five common notions and five postulates as basic principles to construct the geometry. And it contains 46 propositions, which are the main contents of this series to prove the 46 propositions that are theorems or problems. All the proofs and solutions of all the propositions in the from this point forward will be solved using only these definitions, postulates, axioms, and previously proven propositions. In this video, we will present 23 definitions. A point is that which has position but not dimensions. It's already invisible, but one hundredth smaller than the first point is drawn here. But if you make it infinitely smaller so that it has no size, that's the point. However, in this series, we will represent the size to mark a dot, because it is difficult to convey the content if it is not just visible. A line is a length without breadth. Like a dot, a line that is already invisible, but the line 100 thinner than the first line is drawn here. And if you make it infinitely thinner so that it has no width, it's a line. The intersections of lines and their extremities are points. From now on, there will be many cases of marking dots with alphabets like this. A straight line is a line that lies evenly with the points on itself. A surface is that which has length and width only. The extremities of a surface are lines. So if the line ab with the only length has a width like this, it becomes a surface. A boundary is that which is an extremity of anything. A figure is that which is contained by any boundary or boundaries. So, in a broad sense, any point or straight line with a finite size can be called a figure, but in plane geometry, a plane figure created by connecting straight lines can be called a figure. Rectilinear figures are those which are contained by straight lines. There are many types of plane figures, but I will only introduce a few that are defined in book one of Euclid's elements. Trilateral figures being those contained by three quadrilateral those contained by four, and multilateral those contained by more than four straight lines. A plane angle is an inclination to one another of two lines in a plane that meet one another, and do not lie in a straight line. From this point forward, an angle will often be marked as a short curved line or a dot between lines like that. And when the lines containing the angle are straight, the angle is called rectilinear. When a straight line standing on a straight line makes the adjacent angles equal to one another, each of the equal angles is right, and the straight line standing on the other is called a perpendicular to that on which it stands. An acute angle is an angle less than a right angle. An obtuse angle is an angle greater than a right angle. Parallel straight lines are straight lines that, being in the same plane and being produced infinitely in both directions, do not meet one another in either direction. Parallel lines are sometimes marked with a V-shaped mark on a line like this. A circle is a plane figure contained by one line such that all the straight lines falling upon it from one point among those lying within the figure equal one another. And the point is called the center of the circle. And the straight line from the center to any point of the circle is called the radius of the circle. A diameter of the circle is any straight line drawn through the center and terminated in both directions by the circumference of the circle, and such a straight line also bisects the circle. Among trilateral figures, a scale and triangle is that which has its three sides unequal. An equilateral triangle is that which has its three sides equal. The three colored lines of the triangle are unified in blue so that it can be easily recognized. From this point forward, if the colors of the lines are the same and not white, it means they have the same length. An isosceles triangle is that which has two of its sides equal. The colors with the same lengths are unified in blue as well. 
Further, among trilateral figures, a right-angled triangle is that which has a right angle. An obtuse angled triangle is that which has an obtuse angle. And an acute angled triangle is that which has its three angles acute. Among quadrilateral figures, a square is that which is both equilateral and right-angled. An oblong is that which is right-angled but not equilateral. A rhombus is that which is equilateral but not right-angled. And a rhomboid is that which has its opposite sides and angles equal to one another, but is neither equilateral nor right-angled. And let quadrialogates other than these be called trapezia.